Welcome back, everybody, to Get Good North America. We were just in the Intermediate Division, but now we will be moving on over to the Advanced Division. I'm Joe Razor, joined here by Dividing, and we are going to be bringing you this game in between Western Washington Vikings and I think we decided it's pronounced Watchpoint Gibralfi. I believe that's right. And if I had to make a wild guess, I'd have to say that that mascot in their logo up there around, I'd have to guess that's Ralphie. I'm going to make a wild guess. I think that's probably Ralphie. Um, and you know what? Good on, good on Ralphie. Uh, they're living their best life. But uh, Western Washington goodbye. Vikings, sorry, Western Washington Vikings are currently... Uh, and Watchpoint of Ralphie are currently two teams looking to stand out from the pack uh, going into the playoffs next week. Western Washington currently at a 3-3 three and three record, Watchpoint of Ralphie at 4-2. and two. Yeah, so um, kind of similar records there. Uh, both, both teams are, like you said, trying to stand out here in what is kind of a crowded field. Uh, in, in kind of this middle of the pack. And you really only have a couple of teams towards the top of the top of the table. So if they can get a win today, that can really boost their chances of... Uh, that can really not necessarily... They will boost their chances of making playoffs and they'll also increase the momentum uh, building towards the potential playoff success. Yeah, I think um, Advance is a little smaller of a division than Intermediate, yep. so... There might be a bit of a bit less pressure on just making it to the playoffs, but once you're there, uh, both these teams looking to really uh, get themselves among the upper echelon of teams in this division. Uh, the uh, Help Desk Hogan's, the uh, Skyward Haven Bonkers teams that I've been casting for the last couple of weeks in this division. Um, and to do that, I think the point you made about momentum is very important. Uh, of course, these are the last two games today and Sunday before we go into the playoffs next week. And going in there with the confidence, knowing that you have won your most recent games, could be the push you need to make a deep run. Yeah, and the uh, dog's name is Alfie. Uh, ah, so. just Alfie. Just Alfie. Just Alfie. So. Uh, but, you know, uh, I was close. Uh, yeah, 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 you were close. Uh, very, very close. But I believe we are still um, waiting for our map selection and then, which will be a control map of course um, and then uh, we can get ready to get underway in this first to three and speaking speak of the devil map is gonna be Li Zhang Tower yep saw this last time we're gonna see it again looking at the team sheets right now watch point of Ralphie says that Li Zhang is their favorite control map as far as Western Washington says, they're a little more uh, in favor of Busan. So I would think that maybe uh, if the favorite maps is anything to go off of, this might be slightly favored towards Watchpoint Gibralfi, because if it is your favorite map, uh, you do tend to play it more often in scrims and such. Yeah, we will have to see, though, what each team wants to pull out. So then our last series, though, uh, saw the same map in our last series. And we're starting here uh, on tower, we're going to see a... Uh, we're we're going to see last series we saw the brawl continue to be run here. And so I'm interested to see if they will opt to run the dive, which is kind of your more traditional composition. Yeah, teams have 15 seconds to maybe look through it a little bit more. Uh, Watch when Gibralfi currently showing a sort of interesting... Brawl Dive Hybrid showing the uh, Wrecking Ball and uh, Zarya combo instead of the Monkey Zarya we see usually. However, uh, Western Washington Vikings, uh, I'll be interested to see if Sir King Jared will stay on the sim. He won't. He'll go ahead and go to a Tracer completing the full dive comp coming out from Western Washington. So, uh... Haskell, Haskell's got to be really quick. Make sure he doesn't get caught by these... By these uh, damage heroes of Western Washington. That's a very nice anti-nade there, and then also very nice recall uh, coming up from Jared to 
basically dodge the flashbang. Very well done. Wrecking Ball's gonna engage onto the point there. But he's gonna go down. Has to get taken down by Dan, but fade away shot. Uh, from the Dookie Meister himself. Good luck to uh, uh, take him down. Uh, point was captured up by Western Washington, but the question of well, what do watch point brawl do you want to try to do here? Nanamu's gonna be deployed onto the Winston of Western Washington. He's gonna manage to take down one. Cosmo removed from the fight before they get the trade, but I think it's gonna be a bit too little too late here. Really only this wrecking ball and now the Farah has rejoined the fight, so it's not an unwinnable, especially with the kill of the Ariad. Very, very back and forth and scrappy fight, but this whole time Western Washington has been picking up old percentage. The Anibus though, onto the Mirage! Good enough to find one. That's gonna be in. It wasn't even one, it was just the demon. Yeah, and like you said, the longer this fight goes on, the longer it is Mercy of Evil Bunny just keeps on staggering on the point, the better it is for Western Washington Vikings. This fight has now gone on for over 50% worth of point progress for Western Washington. Uh, however, uh, currently with no Winston and the Diva out of mech, Diggory will get it back in momentarily. Oh no, actually taken out in the remech animation by Dookie Meister. Uh, showing a lot of uh, prowess on this Faro right now. So now Watchman and Gibralfi have a really good opportunity to push in. Yeah, they're gonna... Or not not Watchman Gibralfi, I believe the uh, names are actually swapped currently. Good high noon though from Dan to take down... Is it? Yuki Meister? I, I believe they are, but uh, it's gonna be... Oh, they a, might be actually. Falls off the edge! I, I think he got flipped and then right clicked himself, but number one goes off. I, I don't know if they are intentional, intentional, or like accidental of their boobs. I didn't really get too good of an angle on that, but that's just at 100 to zero to start it off. Yeah, and I'm rechecking the team chats that was, in fact, Watchpoint Gibralfi who came out on top there, not Western Washington Vikings. Hopefully, the overlay will be fixed in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, some beautiful play coming out from Watchpoint Gibralfi. I think that there was a lot of great uh, poke play coming out, uh, but Western Watch, uh, sorry, but Watchpoint uh, were able to really just stand strong on the point, keep a stagger game going. Because, like we mentioned, uh, the more staggers came out, the better it was for Watchpoint Gibralfi, uh, just continuing to tick up on the point while uh, Western Washington just couldn't clear them out in time. Now we move on to Control Center, and Watchpoint is still showing the exact same comp which uh, we don't see this kind of stuff happen very often on Control Center. Uh, the Vikings are really going to be hoping that they can really win here with the element of surprise. Yeah, it is a quite different of call. It's forcing Western Washington, uh, it's forcing Watchpoint to brawl because you see kind of back and into a hole here as the points getting ready to unlock. They're gonna try to wrap around to the high ground. And a very interesting move here from Watchpoint uh, to just try and cut off as many angles from Dookie Meister as possible. Um, but luckily, just got the, the Ryan Diva they're just able to walk onto the point and take it for free. Yeah, a lot of damage being applied though. Players are falling very low, but there's two immediate kills going the way of West, uh, going the way of Watchpoint. We're all Fisa starting to drop fairly low, and that's gonna. B looking fairly good for Watchpoint Jabral feed. He's late kill onto Dan. He's looking for another one. He's actually gonna find it. Dookie Meister puts up two. He's looking for a third. Nearly is able to get it. So now all of a sudden, um, you, you can see Western Washington have a chance to engage back into this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was a fun little shot there coming out from uh, Dookie Meister while he was trapped by the Junkrat tire. There is all sorts of flashy moves being displayed all over the point, but it does seem like it is the Vikings who are coming out on top there uh, thanks to the uh, poke damage coming out from Dookie Meister and Sag Fruit. Now we move on to the next fight, and the Vikings will have both support ultimates. Are we very interested to see who they go for here? We saw them put it on Dookie Meister in the past. Also a very interesting swap, Sir King Jared on Gibralfi is going to go on to the Sombra. Uh, we'll see how, we'll see where his height priorities are. I would be looking to try and have Haskell or maybe Dookie Meister if he could reach him. 
Yeah, we will have to see. We're gonna see the window come out. Nice group of web that Pascal, do you have on for a in? We decided to get back into the mech, and this is going to be a complete wipe of the board. Western Washington just running the table here. Yeah, and now, I mean, that was several ultimates coming out from the Vikings. They had the grab come out and both support ultimates, but, I mean, if it works, it works. And I think probably a good thing here is that Western Washington also used both of their support ultimates. Sir King Jared in that fight only got about 30% to that all-important EMP. Gonna have to do a lot more to make sure he gets it in a timely manner uh, in order to potentially use it in a actual, like, full fight uh, for Gibralfi. As, uh, seems like Gibralfi is very much going to take their time as we actually have a DC coming out. Um, and there is no pause. Uh, I believe we might have an AFK host of some kind. Both teams just kinda standing oh, around. The pause okay. finally that, comes through. They can't through. get a full fight now. I mean... Yeah, that actually... That actually really sucks. The host of the lobby, or maybe the host was the one that DC'd. Um, and they were just trying to figure out who the host was. Maybe. Um, but yeah, that actually really, really sucks for, uh, I think it was, uh, Western Washington who were trying? No, no I don't rem I don't remember anymore. <laughs> it was Watchpoint, uh, Jabrolfi, I, I, I... The swap, the swap's overlay has messed me up a little bit, but, yeah, no, it was Western Washington who had the point, Watchpoint Jabrolfi, who was trying to push into right. it. I will say, good sportsmanship from both teams, once they realized the DC was happening, they backed off, uh, neither team trying to take advantage of the 5v6, but yeah, with 85% of the point, uh, taken, that's, that really sucks there for Gibralfi. It's going to be very difficult for them to get a full fight uh, before uh, it's time for overtime. Yeah, so it, it will be tough there, and I wonder what they're going to be able to do here. Um, they didn't really have any ultimates, if I remember correctly, to come out. Uh, it except was a the tank, I think, who went off. I don't remember which one, it was, it was the main tank or the I off it was tank. the DPS. Maybe I'm going crazy. Really? Let's check the VOD. I, I thought it, I could have sworn it was one of the one of the players in the middle of the of the overlay. So that would be one of the tanks. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just remembering things wrong, which is fair. That maybe, happens. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? I've gotten confirmation it's a tank, so I'm right. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was a tank, and uh, it it was the Ryan Hart. I've just pulled it up, and he had the shatter as well. So, uh, ooh, that actually really sucks. Yeah, that is. And you've got to feel for Team Gibralfi there. Uh, you, you, that is just not at all ideal. Losing your main tank in a moment like that. Yeah, that is quite uh, disappointing there. But like you we'll can see, gone. he's now forced to switch over to a wrecking ball to try to get back to this point quick, quickly enough. Pascal's looking for a boop off the high ground. Yeah, Let's nice anti, by the way, coming out from Cosmo on Western Washington. So many members low. Why would Gibraltar have actually taken the point back? That's massive. Yeah, they actually managed to get the cap, like you mentioned. They're going to trade Wrecking Balls. The Barrage managed to catch Dan as soon as he was uh, attempting to pull out hot, his high noon. Missed headshot on the flashbang. The baby diva, you hate to see it, but the uh, King Garrett good. dies with the MP. There, oh, he did die with the MP, you're right. And so now it's looking kind of hopeless for Watchpoint Gibraltar in all honesty uh, on Control Center. Nano Boost de deployed try to just make sure they can clean this up, but they will do so successfully. So the Wrecking Ball Farrakhan ends up working out in their favor. Yeah, I mean, it ends end up working out, I think. The poke damage of the Farah, especially on Control Center, where people tend to play more short-range DPS, um, actually can get a lot of value if it catches the other team off guard. And I think it did catch Gibralfi off guard. I think the DC and delayed pause was super unfortunate for them. However, you've just got to go next if you're Gibralfi here. Um, Western Washington, 
Uh, seems to really love these ball Farrakhans, and uh, they're not going away anytime soon. As uh, yeah, so, teams coming out. Yeah, so they will continue to run it, like you said. We're going to see some Metro, however, coming out from our point to Brawl. You see that quite a lot on Night Market. Uh, so you're going to teleport straight to point. Yep. Uh, poke damage will be able to come through from the Pharaoh, so... Uh, we'll be able to build up that barrage quite quickly! And they're able to get it! Axel goes off the edge. Very nice opening kick for the side of Jabralfi. As they got, they got the dog as their mascot. Now they got first capture of the point here. Good kill there onto Arietta, however, as she ends up going down, and Dan falls as well. So the DPS uh, line has been weakened quite a bit, so is the support line. Now everybody's going to start to drop, so it was a really nice initial engage from Jabralfi, but just not able to hold on to it. Yeah, Jabralfi seemed taken off guard by the Wrecking Ball player, Haskell, coming back in so quickly. Of course, he went down early, but... Uh, the very, very quick movement speed of the Dragon Ball Man, he was back in very quickly and causing havoc to this traditional brawl comp of Gibralfi. Here we have Dookie Meister, I think, setting up for a sneaky, uh, for a sneaky barrage play here. But, uh, no, not quite gonna happen. Actually, it does happen just a little later than I thought. It's good for one. And the uh, Reinhardt is just by himself on the point. That's a nice play coming up from Western Washington to keep control of the point. I'm with you. Yeah, very nicely done there. Like you said, to keep control. A couple ultimates coming in uh, to this fight. We're going to see some swaps from Gibralfi. Yeah, Gibralfi seem to be making swaps to kind of play into Western Washington's game, and that is very scary territory for this team that has played very traditionally up to this point. Western Washington might be one tricks, but they are good at what they do. It's now up to Gibralfi to try and match. Yeah, Deadeye does manage to take down Arietta, so she will go down there. Some barrier. It does roll on through, doesn't get a whole... Like, it just keeps the game alive when they weren't really under a whole lot of pressure, so... Not the best of usage there. Oh, the only pick they found on Cosmo has been rezzed on up, so it's been negated. There is a kill there onto the fair, however. Duty Meister falls. High dude. Uh, comes out from Dan, finds a bit of space is there. They're able to push forward onto the point, and a boost onto the Zarya. Is the MS Paint the lead tool coming on through? Gravenhound Surge is online as well. No reason not to commit it here, essentially the final five. And they may need it as a boot kill comes off onto Hacks out. A follow up as well, very nice shot from Dan. Gravenhound Surge thrown in, it's gonna catch one. Pick that two players, Diva Bomb into the back line. Does it get anything? And they need to find Satch Fruit. They need to find something from that. They're not going to get anything. Like you said, Satch Fruit popping off, finds three kills. This is going to be make that fourth. Looking like Western Washington are going to they drop the control in there, but they do flip it over, and that's going to be very desperate for Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yeah, Gibralfi is going to have to get on there quick. It seems like Diggory is just barely going to be able to get there, but will quickly be taken out of the mech. I think when you are when you decide to play into Western Washington's game, you're playing a very dangerous one because Dookie Meister has so many sightlines on you, and just seems like they understand the win conditions of this comp so much better. Uh, and that's going to allow Western Washington to come out on top here on Lijong Tower. Yeah, very nice start there from Western Washington. Taking the first point, uh, first map of the series. Three are needed to win. Uh, well, well done there. Um, now, it will be moving over to Gibraltar's map selection. And it will uh, be escort, depending on what they want to go with there. And I imagine they would try to run something that allows them to brawl a bit more. Yeah, I would hope so. Um, I think if I'm Watchpoint to Brawl Fee, you're thinking, okay, it's likely that Western Washington is going to play comp this comp or comps like this for the whole game. Let's not try and mirror it. Let's try and figure out how to counter it. Because the Wrecking Ball far comps, while very powerful when it works as intended, is also... <clears throat> excuse me, very easily counterable. Uh, the Wrecking Ball, of course, really likes to play 
by themselves. They like to roll in, get some uh, get some nice disruption uh, on the team on the rest of the team. However, uh, if you can hack, stun, sleep, freeze any sort of CC onto that wrecking ball, it's basically just a six hundred plus health bolt battery for you. Um, so I think yeah, there's we, a lot of uh, there's a lot of stuff to be done there. We saw that a bit uh, on the first point, and then a bit on the second, uh, third point as well, where they were just CC chain uh that wrecking ball and take him down but it's just they weren't doing it consistently enough and you have to give credit uh to that ball for being able to avoid that cc and staying alive while still getting a lot of work done as well so uh, i i will wonder what adaptations however jabrofi try to make yeah absolutely yeah uh... Western Washington has kind of showed their hand, and it is now up to Gibralfi to try and come up with a better one. Uh, whether that's just by running the meta better or coming up with a specific counter strategy, I don't know yet. However, um, I think both teams ha very much have the potential to come out away with the win. Uh, I think don't count this as a Western Washington victory just yet. We saw a lot of really good stuff coming out from Watchpoint Gibralfi. Uh, they should, I think, I think there's a good chance that the longer the series goes, the better things are going to be looking for them. That's a surprise for this comp kind of wears off and they start learning how to play against it. Yeah, I, uh, this does feel like a series depending on how good your are are able to adapt where you could see Western Washington take these first two maps and then we could see a reverse sweep. Um, you, you can, you see that you've seen, you can see that quite a lot uh in overwatch where you have two maps that are very dominant one way and a team just figures out how to play against it and then it's very dominant the other way but we have gotten uh our map selection now as it's gonna be hybrid i said it was escort a bit ago it's my apologies it's gonna be a hybrid map and it's gonna be king's row scrim's row some call it goat's row i think i'm the only person that still does that um <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, this was Gibraltar's pick, and this was definitely an attempt to try and force a brawl on v one and by the looks of things, they might have just done that. Western Washington coming out onto something that looks a lot more traditional. We've got the Ryan, Zarya, uh, the May, Baptiste, Lucio, that's all meta. The only thing that's a little bit weird is Haskell coming out onto... Wait a second. Haskell was playing Wrecking Ball before. This is weird. Dookie Meister was on Farah. Pascal was on Wrecking Ball. They have swapped roles now. This is strange from Western Washington. The role swap's coming out. Uh, however, uh, obviously this is what they're comfortable with. And so we get to see the multi-talented players of Western Washington University. Yeah. And we're also going to see uh, Magan get stubbed in. Uh, he's down on their roster as their... Uh... Uh, something for Evil Bunny down in the roster is the Lucio Specialist, so makes sense to see it there in a very fast engagement and this bit, bit of some roster changes and uh, start out well. Very early pick there to take down the Reinhardt and that can spell doom to both fights, uh, especially in these Brawl mirrors. Yeah, uh, very quick engagement taken by Gibralfi, however the... Uh losing every i mean they lost everyone really quick they lost mercy's rocket first jabralfi did and i mean you've got to be able to support your uh reinhardt uh if you are playing this fast and loose roll style like that you look at the old charges of the that piece and you just see that the support difference so far yeah mate, well news we'll for both sides the so pressure being put off to hasco of the high ground from Diggory, it ends up working out well, picking down very early on, so the defense is now playing down one. We do manage to get a trade! The Dookie might start this Reinhardt, and it's a bait in. Uh, we're gonna see a couple of Ant Matrixes thrown down from both sides. A very, like, Graviton Surge from Drew is cool. But, uh, don't, don't like that Graviton Surge or that Ant Matrix use. Yeah, some desperation ults thrown in from Western Washington. Maybe a bit of a lack of, uh, discipline. Coming out from that team, as someone in there shouted winnable, and a bunch of bulls were made. I saw a glimpse of Haskell going for quite the flank. We'll see if he gets anything out of it, as he is way behind the rest of the team. Then just to rejoin as uh, the high noon from Dan on Watchman Gibraltar doesn't get much. 
and now Western and Washington are pushing up. Yeah, they are converting to push up Shatter Drop. It's gonna hit two players. Blizzard from both sides, and the Sound Bear from one. Magnus to throw guys in. Now there's a Sound Bear to try to keep the team alive that are frozen up and caught inside of the Dragon Strike, but a fade uh, when that pin comes through, so kill onto Mercy's Rocket. And they're gonna use that momentum to push on forward and send everybody from Gibraltar into their spawner. Yeah, uh, great, I think, overall play from Western Washington. Great reactive play, too. Watchpoint Gibralfi tried to come out early with the Shatter and Blizzard combo to freeze them up. But Western Washington, they were more than ready to respond. They had the uh, Blizzard of their own and a great wall as well coming up from Sagefruit to stop Watchpoint Gibralfi in their tracks as they continue to stabilize on this choke point. Open a nice wall. Yeah, deep the bomb thrown in. It actually catches out half still. That's such a disappointing opening. But Diggory gets taken out before they are able to rematch. And the shatter gets struck. And it results in who make that a throw is kill. Very nice counter uh, aggression from Western Washington. Yeah, and the second fight in a row now where Western Washington are able to effectively counter the aggression of Watchpoint Gibralfi. They used the ult early actually get a decent amount of value out of them but i think then they're not quite ready for the ultimates that come out from western washington there's gotta be someone in that group chat saying hey these are the ults that they're gonna have this fight watch out for them even if it looks like it's one. Oh my god i mean like he just got blown up i i accidentally said gird but this is not very gird for uh <laughs> western washington it is Dookie Meister went from 100% to 0% in the span of around 0.2 seconds. Yeah, I guess that's what happens when you exist in front of an ant matrix as Reinhardt. <laughs> there's just nothing that you can do when there's six players shooting through that at you and everything they do is doubled. Good A Maywall. nice may Maywall there from King Jared. Dookie Meister has to back up and he will manage to live. Yeah, we see the crackdown search thrown in with the blizzard as well from the defense. It gets a fair amount of value and a fair amount of kills as well to make the Western Washington do very good to uh, engage in time and bullet them off right before they finish second. Nice little triple kill from Cosmo there to clean up that fight. Shout out to the Baptiste of Western Washington. Uh, as now we see Western Washington stabilizing again at the end of point B, and this can be really tough now for Watchpoint Gibralfi to try and push into. They're gonna have the Blizzard, they're gonna have the Beat, they'll probably also have Dan's High Noon a little bit into the fight, so not to say they don't have tools, but it's just gonna be a little bit difficult to break down this chokehold. Yeah, Blizzard's going in, they're gonna try to push up past the High Noon, comes out, and it catches uh, nearly two kills. Their two two nice took a fair amount of damage from the high dude from Dan as well as he picked up two. And uh, they are looking on lost and forgotten. And that's going to be rough point to brawl. Be doing good to capture up second point. They will have just under 230 to work third. King Jared's blizzard there was absolutely huge. It froze up the tanks and therefore there was no shield, no, uh, no bubbles in the way of Dan's uh, high noon. Absolutely just cleared the path there for the hit scan DPS of Gibralfi, as now the team has about two minutes to try and finish this map. Give up on third in. Buys it a lot of space into the Ooh. middle to Dookie Meister. That's such a nice uh, court team play there. Coming out from Western Washington. The Diva Bomb from Diggory that the pit from Mercy's Rocket sets up the triple kill. Very nice. Yeah, beautiful buff from Diggory, beautiful pin from Mercy's Rocket in order to deny that Rhine Shield's block. And now everything's being thrown in as Gibraltar is trying to finish this map, but the picks seem to be coming through for Western Washington. Yeah, they do. Everybody uh, drop down. A couple players set themselves off the side to reset here. Minute 20 left. Hello. Yeah, minute 20 left, and Gibralfi actually uh, committed just about every ult they had to try and bring that cart to the finish. Did not happen, 
And now they're playing into the Grav Blizzard combo from Western Washington. If Watchpoint are slow here and and Western Washington plays this right, that could just be the combo uh, that might just end this attack. As Drew gets an early pick on Dan, that's terrible. They're not even going to need it. Yeah, that's such a good opening, man. Hopefully they don't commit it here. As... I mean, Dookie Maidster falls actually. Oh, the read that kill! I mean, we were gonna say they don't need it, but there's two kills that come through. They might be able to use this Grafton's Dirge with an Ant Matrix right behind it, but just no kills are able to come through. Sound Barrier committed now from the defensive side, trying to keep everybody up. Oh my goodness. And they're all falling. That's such a crazy turn of events there. Yeah, absolutely crazy. The Blizzard is good, but it's not gonna be enough. There's no follow up. Drew is cool, barely gets onto the flight, but uh, Raj Point Gibralti will finish, and they will finish with time. What a crazy counter push coming out from Gibralti that I think honestly started with the remet kill onto the May of Western Washington. They were not able to combo the grab with the Blizzard like I would think they were hoping to. And then uh, the members of Watchpoint just started uh, flooding back onto the point in earnest uh, and just overpowered Western Washington there. Yeah, Western Washington shut down in a nice display. Uh, big thing though is Watchpoint Gibralfi managed to capture with time. So no matter, so if Western Washington do manage to fully capture. Uh, King's Row, uh, they watch Point Gibraltar will get a chance to attack again, so good on them. Looks like we're gonna see the same comp that they ran on the attack will now be on the defense. I assume Sag Fruit uh, is most likely just gonna look for an opening pick there. Maybe it stays on the Widow because uh, previously Sag Fruit was also playing the McCree, so. Uh, That's true. Uh, I imagine they probably don't stick on the Widow for more than just an opening shot, which I don't think they're going to find very difficult to find an opening, unless maybe uh, Noctara uh, goes a little bit too far, but that's not going to happen. Everyone is playing very uh, away, so and I think Satchery knows rolls. that. They're just going to swap. Uh, yeah, actually. Uh, Haskell's now going to be on the... Uh... No, I don't think they did. Satchery... Wasn't Satchery on... Uh... On May before, I, I don't remember. Uh, but uh, I, I, I can pull that up. But uh, that's where it's gonna drop very early, so it's kind of just a, a it's a soft reset force. Oh, yeah, soft well reset, there. but the uh, the respawn is right there, so Western Washington will be able to recontest, and now they are able to get around the statue, allowing uh, many different angles onto this Watch One Gibraltar team. Ooh, very nice stay wall to separate off and Jared from the rest of the team. And they uh, fire strike through the Ant Matrix, but they should find one kill. And then the follow up from Dan is there in the Cosmo, so uh, we're still kind of tight back as the shatters drop to catch out all these stragglers. And uh, you, you were correct, I was wrong. Uh, Sad Fruit was on the map. Yeah, okay, good, good, good. Wasn't hallucinating that. Uh, Diggory goes for no, another. No, apparently I was the one Tries to go for another uh, scream that kill doesn't quite get it. That's gonna force Western. That's gonna force your Brophy to fall back now. They are forced to fall back. He gets me to capture. Uh, cap. Catch one there as Magan's gonna fall. Sound barrier now committed. Counterpin comes forth. Shatter gets struck. It's absolutely massive. Finds three players. Two kills off of it as the point's going to be captured up. I mean, is that's a bit of a C9. They had four players there, none of them were on the point, but well done there by uh, Western Washington. Yeah, I think uh, Diggory got a little bit too aggressive there, was looking to maybe try and get another sneaky rematch kill. Uh, did not happen, got picked off instead, and without the damage mitigation of the D.Va, uh, Watchman Gibraltar's comp had a lot more of a difficult time. And now, Western Washington's really going to push up here. Look at all this space that they're just able to take. They're up to the end of point B, almost for free. Not going to be pushed back because they don't have their McCree with them. Uh, oh, but look at this flank. Oh, Dickory eats it! What a oh, beautiful flank from the D.Va! I mean, what an eat! I didn't flick over onto it, too. 
pick it out of the fight, and that's gonna be absolutely massive. So they're able to compile all their ultimates into a multitude of kills, as this is looking quite spicy for the defensive side. For now, there's a trade that comes through, though. Blizzard is thrown in as well from Gibraltar. King Jared is going to commit the Blizzard here on one health by himself. I don't think I am, I would have recommended that, but it is keeping picks going in either direction here. Uh, it seems despite that fantastic eat from Diggory, Washington Vikings are uh, poised to take point B here unless we get a big shatter maybe from Mercy's Rocket. Yeah, or a big grab. They do have some things to use here. Shatter is very good. It does hit three players, but not a single kill. Now Drew is cool. He's able to throw with that grab to surge. And it's gonna be the nail in the coffin for the second point defense. As the cart will get ready. 420. Yeah, four minutes, 20 seconds on the clock here for Western Washington. This has been a pretty dominant attack as of right now. is gonna make the swap onto the Zarya, try and get his team a little bit more damage. Now going into the next fight, uh, Sadruk is going to have the Blizzard here for Western Washington, and Noctar isn't quite up to his uh, his beat yet. So that could be key, as it does come out early and freezes up a lot members of Gibraltar. Uh, as this is looking desperate for Gibraltar, I mean, a desperation high noon from Dan gets shut down. And Arietta oh, is not able to make it out. So now it's going to be Western Washington moving forward with just uh, most likely just an attempt at a stall from Westwood. Yeah. There is Gibraltar has nothing to work with. They have no ults, and the High Noon is zoning them out so well. The double kill from Haskell is going to push the cart in, and that is a four minute to one minute difference in favor of Western Washington as we move into extra rounds. Yeah, over three minutes more in time. I think Western Washington, I think, did a much better job of uh, really kind of cycling their ultimates there. I saw some really great individual plays from Gibraltar as a bit of a diva enthusiast myself. That was a beautiful eat from Diggory. Hats off to you. Uh, but I think overall, when it came to ult usage, uh, understanding when to go aggressive and when to not, Western Washington just looked so much more comfortable. And, you know, good good for them, honestly. I had them pegged as sort of a bald Zarya Pharaoh one-trick team uh, after Li Zhang, but seems like that's not the case. Yeah, they're just, I mean, uh, we talk about MTDs, Widow Diffs. This is so far feeling kind of a team diff. They seem to just be better on every composition that they are willing to play. Um, and watch for Gibraltar are going to need to make some changes. As uh, hey I'm not sure if you can see on the top right of your screen, Maggot and Dan just having to stare off before the round begins. Yeah, Dan trying to get an opening shot off. Doubt how much will happen. Yeah, he knows that he's not going to get anything. He's going to swap over to the McCree. As now Watchpoint Gibraltar has a minute to try and get something done here. Need to take at least a tick in order to make sure that they have a chance of winning this game. Yeah, they're gonna try to go in. They will use from both sides. Mortality kill broken down there. And two kills very quickly for this uh, uh, attacking side. So well done there by Watchpoint Gibraltar to get a good start. Uh, hack cell kills two, just randomly. Okay. Yeah, and that actually might be big, as I don't think, actually, yeah, the members that watch Point Rolfi are going to sort of get the long spawn, but it's not that long when you're considering the attacker's advantage, as uh, the quick rotation through Hotel was super effective from Gibraltar. Uh Western Washington was not ready for it, but... Uh, Western Washington seems to be ready to take a very aggressive push here, make sure they don't get any further than this choke. Yeah, Hydeo comes out, counter pin, comes through, but Maggot still ends up falling, immortality is good to keep people alive to shatter from Nuki Meister fights four, but the counter shatter fights two, and that one actually results in kills as Dukey Meister ends up falling to the diva of Diggory. The death are just 
gonna calm it down, try to stabilize here on the defense, but it's unable to do so due to their lack of the main tank, so watch what you're probably doing good with the fact that they only started with a minute. Imagine really got caught between a rock and a hard place there, and by a rock and a hard place, I mean a Reinhardt and another Reinhardt just squished between the counter pins. That is not where you want to be. Uh, and losing that Lucio so early, not having that speed boost, that extra healing coming out is so, just so bad for Western Washington. And Sobralfi is now continues to push the cart forward. And Ooh. Dan picks off Drew, that's massive. He peeked out, uh, he peeked to the left of the shield. Like, that's a disastrous move there. That may end up costing them this fight, and it will do so, because everybody's gonna fall for the very nice shots from Dan to clean this up. And watch what Gibraltar, they only had a minute, but well, now they've captured second. They are rolling, Gibraltar is, and they have tools at their disposal as well. Lucio ult, Baptiste ult, Diva ult, Reinhardt ult, all of them will be available for Gibraltar as they look to potentially finish out this map a second oh, time. Imagine goes down strike. to the Fire Strike Amp Matrix. Yeah, the Shatter doesn't get a whole lot of Blizzard! Niggery! I eat set for Blizzard once again, and this time it's gonna be useful here because in that 5v6, that Blizzard could have been a, a turning point. Oh my gosh, gonna... they're they're gonna finish. Oh, oh he can't get the sound barrier off! What? He just got booped up into a He got and... booped, booped up by I think probably Noctara and then picked off by Dan. And he died before he landed the beat. Oh, oh that a, was just domination I mean, from Gibraltar. That, that's an incredible push. They did not lose a single fight that whole time. If they uh, if they had started with like your traditional fort, if this was their initial attack, they would be looking at like a five to six minute time ban. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how good of a push it was. And so now Western Washington need to replicate that. Yeah, and that uh, four minute just time for a bank chance. is suddenly looking a lot less uh, of a certainty. As now, I mean, doesn't matter. Uh, you've got to finish the map. The uh, time bank doesn't matter. It, the time bank has been... It, it still matters, but the fact is they can't add time to it, right? It's so... Yeah. If they fully capture the map, it will be an overtime. And so they, we would just see another round. Uh, no matter yeah, what, if I'm, if like, I'm Gibralfi, I'm telling my team right now, look, we don't necessarily have to win every fight. We don't have to hold them in spawn. But waste as much time as humanly possible. Make sure that the clock just keep draining and they're not making progress. Because the more you do that, and the quicker you can force the game into overtime, the more you can look for that final killing blow. They're gonna start to move around. They will throw it out. Satchford's in an awkward spot, but he's able to use his ice block to keep himself alive. Dookie by to out. Very nicely done there to take him down in a very good fight from Watchpoint to Brawl Yeah, Dookie Meister just very, just caught out. Oh, well, Drew will go ahead and take himself out of the fight uh, there. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Maywall there really uh, caught Dookie Meister in a tough position. Uh, was not able to get out in time to get back to the safety of the Baptiste. You see, Arietta has the Ant Matrix already. Cosmo only about 60% for theirs. So big support dip coming out so far. Matrix okay. thrown in and then the shatter! Oh, oh my days! Hits the four remaining players of Western Vikings. That's gonna be it. Three minutes now left on the clock for Western Washington. Yeah, minute drained off that time bank as Western Washington now finally starting to get themselves up to the ultimate phase of the game. They will have both the Fiat Ultimates as well as the Ant Matrix going into this fight. They need to get something moving quick. Yeah, they're gonna try to make something happen with the uh, High Noon. Doesn't get really much of anything. You're gonna start to push forward and the Juki Meister falls! He just ran in with the shield down and the High Noon results in two. And this, I mean, it just feels like a complete sweep. Re six, uh, complete 180 in momentum. 
Yeah, Gibralfi are looking so strong right now on this defense. They seem to have adjusted so well to watch point, uh, so to Washington's uh, play style here. They're playing super fast, super aggressive, but that also leaves them open to mistakes. Just grab you by Diggory! That is his third of the map! I mean, you, you can't keep getting away with this. Oh my days, everybody's dropping. That's going to be Western Washington continuing to struggle on their attack. Yeah, now this time being over halfway down, no matter what, Western Washington, even if they do manage to get point A, they're going to be sending a significant amount of their attack in overtime at this point. Washington and Ralphie doing a beautiful job of just draining that clock, withstanding the aggression and coming out with the counters. However, Western Washington will have the, uh, will have the shatter on their side here and the blizzard which comes out. Yeah, High Noon though from Dane fights two once again. Second High Noon in a row fights two, but the Shatter fights three. No kills immediately, but it does result in the Mercy Pocket falling. And this is looking like Western Washington are finally going to capture a first point. It took them three minutes to do so, however. Yeah, a minute on the clock. Basically, with that attack, Watchpoint Gibraltar has nullified all of the time advantage that Western Washington had going into extra round. And look at the ult charges. It took Western Washington four ultimates at once to do it. Now, to be fair, Drew will have the grab coming up in just a moment. However, uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar overall, their ult, their ult economy is looking just so much better for the long term. Yeah, they're gonna... Oh, the double kill! Oh my! The fire strike through the air makes this fight two! The fight's yeah, a fight Washington. three! Seconds left for Western Washington to do anything. Yeah, they just have to back up. They can't afford to take any more casualties, Western Washington. Again, Drew didn't use his grab, so that tool is there. However, they're still gonna be playing into the Shatter, into the Blizzard, into potentially even the uh, High Noon as well from Gibraltar. This, this split grab has to be big. It is quite big, but there is some, uh, there is abilities in the way to keep the team alive. And this is looking like Watchpoint Gibraltar have completely swung the momentum in their favor. And are going to be taking a second map in a situation where they looked completely lost. Yeah, some beautiful adjustments coming out from Watchpoint Gibraltar. They were very much taken off guard by Western Washington's ultra aggressive play style. However, uh, Sir King Jared, of course, coming up big on the May on several occasions for this team. Uh, but yeah, I think on their first attack, uh, Gibraltar were very much taken off guard by Western Washington, who are playing super, super, super fast. But when it came time for the second attack, they were more ready for it. They were more ready to take the aggression. And, you know, when you're playing that aggressive, it uh, opens up some sight lines that maybe wouldn't be uh, available otherwise. It was fast, but it was a little bit swap sloppy from Washington. And the second time around, Gibraltar were able to uh, take advantage. Yeah, Gibraltar did quite a good job there of uh, doing what they needed to do to completely flip a map in uh that looked completely lost at one point in their favor so now it's a uh, gonna see if western washington are gonna be able to reply in what will be our escort map uh but we while we wait for that map pick and while they prepare we will be heading to a quick break i'm jerazer joined here by dividing don't go anywhere Welcome back, everybody, to Get Good North America Season 7 Advanced Division. I am Playboy Play by Play. Joe Razor joined here by the wonderful color commentator Dividing. And we are uh, getting ready to hop into our third map of the series between the Western Washington Vikings and Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yeah, and what a game it's been so far. Uh, Western Washington coming out strong on Lijang Tower, thanks to a pocket uh, ball Zarya for Mercy setup that they were running. Uh, however, uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar fired right back thanks to a fantastic extra rounds push on King's Row. One minute on the clock, they pushed all the way to the end. 
and shows some great adjustment to Western Washington's uh, aggressive play style. So now the ball is back into Western Washington's court to try and respond. They will have the map pick here uh, as we go into the all-important map three and the teams are tied up. We will be going to Rialto. Yeah, both teams on their team sheets listed this as their uh, favorite maps. Uh, so interested to see. What she wants to run. Uh, traditional has been still like a brawl comp map, but we have, but you can't see the ball poke comps get played. Uh, Western Washington looked very potent on those in our opening map, so I wouldn't <clears throat> be surprised if we saw them try to roll with something similar to that. Yeah, I think this is a comp where we see both the uh, sort of pokey comps and the brawly comps potentially get value in. Here, if both teams are going to be sticking on these current comps, we're going to be seeing a real clash of styles as Washington Gibralfi on the defense coming out on a very uh, traditional uh, brawl slash brush comp, while Western Washington showing something a little bit different. Uh, currently on Ball Sigma, they did though they do have 20 or so seconds to change their minds if they want to. Yeah, we will have to they want to run with here. Uh, I think we're just being kind of teased Five, on the attack. Four, three, uh, or we could see the hog. One. Yeah, the, okay. the Sigma hog coming out here from Western Washington. This is a very slow sort of pick based comp, I want to say, from Western Washington. We're going to be looking at Dookie Meister on the Sigma to kind of anchor the whole thing. Meanwhile, uh, Haskell is going around trying to distract and open up the way for Sag Fruit and Drew to try and get picks. But Dan is more than ready for Haskell there. Beautiful flick there from him. No tracer in the back means that there's no distractions and Western Washington, sorry, Washington Gibralfi can fully pay attention to what's going on in front of them. Right now that is chasing down this Roadhog. Yeah, what a start uh, to this. There, take down Drew is cool. So good opening there. Tracer in the back and Haskell is facing a fair amount of pressure. He's forced to uh, leave his position for now, trying to build up this pulse bomb. And he's buying a bit of space with his kind of poke that he is doing. Trying to bail out the flashbang as you can see, but instead he's just forced out to recall before it even comes out. A good flashbang buys once again some space, but it's the headshot onto Jared. It's gonna be the opening. Much point to Brophy are just forced to play in a small tubby where they're just being poked into. But the high dude! From Sagefruit comes up big! This situation where Jabrofi were just starting to find their footing in that fight in a very long and scrappy fight, Sagefruit comes up huge. Yeah, and that's the play of this comp. It's distraction. Dookie Meister, Haskell, Cosmo, they all push up into the main group of Watchpoint Jabrofi. They distract them, and while that's happening, Sagefruit gets a point onto the high ground and manages to push up and get three with the high noon. Yeah. Most of them into the back. It manages to find one, and then there are some follow-ups as well. Two kills there from the McCree. That's going to be the yeah, cart. Satchroot once, ag once again manages to get a uh, uncontested spot on the high ground. Uh, and obviously, at that point, you're basically just playing aim labs. Uh, just cl clicking down the targets that show up in front of you. Yeah, now they're gonna engage on the stairway. It can be a hard... Uh, Mercy Rocket falls. That's not good. Yeah, it can be a hard spot for the attack to push into. It's gonna be a bit of a delayed engagement from Jabralfi due to the fact, like you mentioned, Mercy's Rocket did fall off the high ground there. We're gonna try to engage into this there. But instead, they're going to try to drop onto the cart. Nice Diva Bomb placement right up into that window. I mean, that's phenomenally thrown that in there was, by Diggory. That's a, that was like, super impressive. I, I, that is very impressive. As somebody who used to be a Diva main, I was, I was never able to do that. Uh, maybe, maybe that's why I never, never made it out of play. Who knows? Uh, they all throw it up, though, as it looks like it's going to be a reset, especially with that kill onto Haskell. Yeah, Western Washington needs this Zen to stay alive. 
Cosmos uh, Discord Org is crucial to allowing the sort of pick based composition to get value. Uh, it allows Haskell to get into the back and get that much more value out of those Tracer pistols. Um, so losing him early to the Diva Bomb is just really unfortunate for this comp. Yeah, High Noon doesn't buy it, doesn't find any kills, but it does find some space. Buffs thrown in. It's going to hit a couple of players. Pulse Bomb misses its target. Yeah, Sound Bear was there anyway, so we will not die to it. The trend set is different possible as they want to try to go in aggressive and to try to nullify some of the uh, damage that this blizzard is doing, but it is not good enough to save Duty Meister's life. And now everybody's starting to fall, so it looks like Watchpoint and Brawl Fear once again going to stabilize on their defense. Yeah, now we see the power. Now that, uh, uh oh, we've got ourselves another DC coming out for Watchpoint and Brawl Fear. Okay, and there's the pause a little bit. Uh, good stuff coming out for Watchmen to Brawlfee. Looks like same, same, uh, same player who DC'd earlier on, uh, Li Zhong Tower, the main tank. Uh, though, to be fair, wasn't Jabralfi, well, actually, maybe I'm remembering things wrong. It was a main tank player. Maybe it, it wasn't was the, the main same tank main tank Gibralfi. player. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is the same player. Uh, unfortunate having some connection issues there. Actually, really unfortunate, considering the pause happened pretty much in the middle of a fight. And now they're not going to have their main tank to help anchor that brawl composition that Gibralfi is playing right now. Yeah, but a uh, small positive is they will not lose that shadow <coughs> um, that was online. So, good. That, that is always a good thing. But, yeah, hopefully we can get everything resolved. But I I think Gibralfi... Gibralfi looked... Has been looking very good on this map. Um, this is was the pick of Western Washington, but they, yeah. they've been struggling to try to push into this Jabrolfi defense in the last three minutes or so. And so yeah, uh, I I feel, I feel like I don't know what they need, what adjustments they need to make, but I, I think they do need to make some form of an adjustment to try to engage a bit better. Yeah, the problem is Western Washington's comp is powerful. They are able to get picks very quickly with the spam damage of the Tracer and the McCree, um, coupled with the Discord Orb of the Zenyatta, but it's also a very fragile comp. Of course, Zenyatta, one of the uh, most easy-to-hit support heroes in the game, and the other uh, support player on the side of Western Washington is Mercy, so there isn't really much peel happening uh, for that Zenyatta and that is really tough when you're playing into this choke point that Watchpoint Gibralfi has right now. Uh, they have sort of control of the high ground uh, overlooking the Rialto Bridge, as well as control of the choke point sort of arch that's about halfway between points uh, one and point two. Um, and using that sort of in combination, uh, Western Wa Washington is having trouble really breaking through this choke point. Yeah, they are uh, having some troubles, like you said, breaking through that choke. I would like to maybe see swap over to the Reinhardt instead of that. Uh, instead of the comp there currently. Yeah, they were on Sigma Roadhog. Yeah, yeah. I, I would like to see them swap off over onto a Reinhardt side of the hog. I'd maybe swap off the Sigma. They seem to have liked to run the Sigma with that. They, they, they can run that Sigma with the Reinhardt. Um, if you wanted to, we saw that a lot in our last series, so I wouldn't be too surprised, but I, I would prefer them to uh, switch over to the uh, Reinhardt instead. Yeah, going into something that's a little bit more tanky might be what the doctor ordered here. Uh, hopefully we should be getting back into the game in just a moment. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I think there needs to be a couple swaps coming out for from Western Washington. Unless they get, like, really lucky and manage to get a nice uh, pick off with the uh, Roadhog. And I will say, uh, when we do get back into the game, uh, Western Washington will be at a 5v6 for a while. So there will definitely be opportunities to sort of break open this second point. Honestly, if I'm Gibralfi, I might be considering just trying to back up as much as you can. Try not to not stagger and wait for your main tank to get back, because there's still time to contest the point, even if you let it go before a uh, second point is uh, is captured by Western Washington. 
Yeah, they definitely do have the resources needed to try to engage into that choke. And then I think, I, I do think that they're right. I think a more tanky composition, though, is what's needed from Western Washington. I just think they don't really have what they need uh, to push in. So I would... I would like to see them uh, make some compositional swaps. I think the way they are approaching the fights is fine for the comp they're running. Uh, I, I don't think that's the problem. I just think in this certain circumstance, they're just being competent. Yeah, I think that's a pretty decent way to say it. Uh, the comp diff for sure. Um, Western Washington definitely likes to think outside of the box when it comes to their comp decisions. And I like that about them, um, but I think uh, when it comes to playing into just a good old-fashioned meta brawl rush comp, uh, works very works very well. Works very well. Yeah, it, it sure does. So, um, so I think we are uh, still waiting for. Everything. Actually, I think we are. We'll be heading back in in just a second. I think we're finally going to be heading. Communication back in. going on between production people, <laughs> making sure everyone's ready to go. Uh, yep. We should be heading back into the game momentarily. Yeah, I think we uh, will be, and then we can hop back into our this action on this uh, mountain number three. As we are back in, but like we said, it is a five v six for a bit. And make that a 4v6, so I, it is just going to be a reset now from Watch Point Gibraltar. Yeah, um, Watch Point Gibraltar is going to just fall straight on back. Uh, hopefully the stream is a little bit better quality than what I'm getting right now. Um, lots of frozen stuff, but I am seeing members of Washington go down. Uh, Drew was frozen up and taken out, which means... Without that Roadhog, uh, Watchman Gibraltar, we should be able to take control of the point back. Yeah, they are able to do so. And there's the comp swap. Stuke Meister over onto a Reinhardt. And then Drew oh, the point, the point was capped. It's going to go through. Oh, it was capped. Okay. That was, that was, did not catch that. Uh, I, I didn't uh, get the audio. I, uh, I just missed the audio there. Full spot thrown in. It's a good stick, but it's onto the Divas. He's able to stay alive. Diggory with a nice... I mean, the Diva Bomb placement from Diggory is just on another level. Uh, that's like the third Diva Bomb this game. This map where I've just been impressed by the placements of it, but it's a nice skills coming through as the defense is uh, be able to stabilize. Yeah, the Diva Bomb mechanics from Diggory are extremely impressive. Definitely has spent a lot of time mastering the character of Diva. Um, and it's and it's definitely paying off because being able to win that fight just off of the uh, Diva Bomb is massive. Watch one Gibralfi, all of a sudden they will have both DPS ultimates along with the Shatter and the Beat to work with going into this last two minutes. Western Washington will only have two ults, the Shatter and the Ant Matrix, to work with. Uh, as far as old economy goes, Watchpoint to Brawlfy definitely have the advantage. Uh, I didn't know. Not from Dan. Doesn't get anything, but in the room below, it's going to be Mercy's Pocket falling. Shatter does get uh, good value as well as it causes Dan to drop. As this is yeah. going to be the reset. Yeah, ult economy doesn't mean much when you lose your Reinhardt so early like that in a brawl v brawl matchup. As we saw, Western Washington actually made uh, some very uh, some very wholesale changes to sort of match this uh, match this brawl style of comp. Now that we're in that, you know, first person to Rhine dies usually loses, and Mercy Rocket died first. Yeah, so now they are trying to engage in good. <laughs> work there to find out Mercy's pocket. There is a trade, but it is losing your McCree is way less detrimental than losing your Reinhardt. As there's the Reinhardt get dropped from the attacking side, they just have so many kills. They're just able to stay alive. Switch over to the monkey to just try to stall, I guess? I don't know why you don't switch to the ball, but goes Yeah, down. maybe you think it's a little more tanky. You're able to put down the shield, potentially, but 
They don't get it twisted. This is desperation. Uh, stagger swaps coming out from Gibralfi. Just trying to get as much time off the clock as possible. But the picks continue to flood through for Western Washington. Uh, Western Washington. Again, Sublime. Uh, we're just gonna be able to clean everything up. Uh, this is a good stall, though. They will be able to stall for about 20 seconds, so we'll drop into overtime. But, uh, all in no, all, not a good attack overtime. there. Oh, not quite overtime, but, uh, all no, in it all... it doesn't matter as much on Escort. Yeah, but all in all, a good attack there from <laughs> Western Washington. Cap, fully, full capping on, uh, Relto is on a small feat. Yeah, very defensive heavy map, especially on the very end here. Uh, and as we saw, we wanted... I think that pause was actually kind of good for the Vikings. Uh, they were able to take a few minutes to be like, okay, uh, this ball, Sigma, Tracer, Zencom isn't really working. They're picking us off too easily. I think we need to try and uh, mirror the brawl. Not an exact mirror. They had a Hanzo instead of a Mei, but say to mirror the sort of brawl play style. And it worked out extremely well for them. And now they're back to their old tricks. We got a double sniper coming up from Western Washington. Uh, and a Sigma Hog once again. Attackers incoming in 30 seconds. Yeah, so, like you said, they will be running Sig Hog, double sniper on the defensive side. I do, I, I don't hit this comp. I, I think the Hog is a bit of an interesting pick, but uh, over, I like the idea of the comp. I don't hate it either. It just really um, depends on the tank line of Western Washington Dookie Meister on the SIG uh, and Drew on the Roadhog to try and open up sight lines for their snipers to work with. Gibralfi's comp is going to want to play very close together and behind the safety of their shields and of their uh, defense matrices. So it's going to be up to these tanks to make openings Ooh. and, oh man, nice flick there from Haskell catches Dan in the rotation. That's such a nice shot there from, oh, he finds another one. It's that area and he's dropping down. Haskell's feeling, feeling himself. Uh, as he should. That's what I, what, what I meant to say. It's going to be the reset though. As uh, a very nice fight from Western Washington. Yeah, uh, doubted the ability of the uh, snipers going in, but, you know, Haskell definitely proved me wrong there. Sad Fruit quietly having actually more, uh, oh, look at this little flank coming out from Haskell. Feeling very confident right now. Uh, Watch when Gibralfi is picking uh, a bit of a different area to go, but, oh. oh, Dan down again. Yeah, nearly fights a second, but the shot is just not able to land. And now they're gonna, they're gonna oh, rotate around the double on the three. Triple. Three? Are you kidding me? And that was delayed. The delayed kill on Diggory suggests to me that he did tried to use his boosters to get back and died anyway. Did he? Did he kill four? Did he kill the Reinhardt as well? Maybe. I, I That's think insane. Was... A co you a coach gun environmental so, kill. You don't has to see that very that. often. We, we gotta look at that later. You do not see that often, much less so many. Beautiful play from Sag Group. Yeah, they're gonna try to wrap around the back here. The mob is in a very good spawn. The dynamite does so much damage. And they're just able to decimate. Watch a bunch of Brophy in the small room. It'll be another reset. Minute 55 remaining. Yeah, this is getting scarier now for Gibralfi. They're having so much trouble uh, being able to close the distance between them and Western Washington. This double sniper comp, uh, <clears throat> sorry, the sprawl comp from Gibralfi really wants to be able to close the distance in order to do damage here. But every time they try and rotate, uh, Haskell takes off one of their heads and it's just causing so much issue. You see Diggory basically having to commit his entire defense matrix to try and make sure no one gets picked. Yeah, but then the whole hawk comes through. This is just such a good spot. Just so much damage, so much pressure onto them. And there's just nothing they are able to do. And that's just another really nice fight. They can't come down main because they'll just get picked apart by the snipers. And when they try to wrap around the side like this, they're just caught in this area where just they're just susceptible to so much poke damage. All right. 
And so, Gibralfi, they're just gonna go ahead and try again. There were some key ultimates used on the side of Western Washington. A clean first rotation. And a missed shot from Haskell means Western Washington, they're gonna be able to get into this room with no casualties, I think, for the first time on this attack. Yeah, but there, I mean, no casualties until you push up on them. Then they end up done. Uh, that's just so, so nicely done there. Only 30 seconds left on the clock for Watch Punch Brophy. Yeah, Haskell getting a double kill there, even though Western Washington was, sorry, even though Watch Punch and Brophy were able to get up into the room with the tanks, Haskell still did a beautiful job at finding an off angle. Oh! Dan says, I'm done with this, I'm just gonna high noon you. Yeah, the Diva Ball placement is once again, it's just off this time, just a bit lower than they wanted it, but a bit farther than they wanted it, he ends up falling down the staircase, but... He kills with them. Buster Washington, they started this fight down one, and it looked like much for Tabolfi were in a good spot to manage to try to push through here. But they just don't ask the players to do really anything. It's in overtime now. Wow. Desperation ultimates committed in a desperate attempt to uh, remain here. Tabolfi ran us through a marathon of the last map, but this one, they will just be full held. This is gonna be map number two, three, going the way of Western Washington. And what a map it was. Western Washington showing a masterclass. I hope we get this Ash uh, boop here. I think, I think we do. I think we're going to see it. I so want to see what Sad Fruit did before I talk about this real quick. Because um, we did not see Sad Fruit's perspective of this. Oh my goodness. And the... Was that a wall? It, oh my goodness. I think Diggory died from the wall of his own May. It came up near the edge, and he tried to use his boosters, couldn't get around the wall. That's why we saw the delayed Diva death. That's insane from Sag Fruit. I mean, yeah, a 3k boop. I mean, any uh, environmental kills with the Ash is already uh, it's a surprising feat. But when do you kill three? I mean, that's just... Uh quite incredible there but now we will be moving over to everybody's favorite map type uh 2cp assault uh curious what uh watch point of brophy want to go with here yeah max up against the wall here they had so much trouble dealing with the poke double shield comp it wasn't just uh, not double shield double sniper comp it wasn't just a sniper from Jabralfi either the tanks and even the supports of Western Washington were all putting in work, putting in spam damage, finding angles that uh, Gibralfi wasn't expecting. They needed perfect coordination and synergy in order to get anywhere with their brawl comp without getting someone caught out. And the second that the fight uh, became like more scrappy uh, and Gibralfi were forced to split up, Western Washington were so good at being able to pick them off, just had this iron grip on the high ground uh, of first point Rialto. Um, and man, that really takes the wind out of your sails, I think, if that if you're Gibralfi there. You've really got to regroup going into this map with the match on the line. Yeah, they have to regroup and uh, refocus here if they want to try to make something happen. That's a complete... I mean, the swings in momentum this series have been insane. First map looked... First map, and then the... First, really, most of the second map looked dominant from Western Washington. And then Gibralfi say, eh, let's, we're just going to full cap King's Row in overtime. And <laughs> yeah. so they just, um, and it looks like they just, they just look so much uh, more confident in their gameplay. And then we, and then they just get full out on Rialto. Um, so it's just the crazy swings and momentums from one team to the other. So I, I, I'm excited to see what um, each team is going to be able to bring out on our next map. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, uh, Gibralfi will be um, the pick here. I imagine they probably still want to try and force the Brawl Mirror. That is when they have had the most success so far. That would suggest maybe a Hanamura kind of pick. Um, I could see potentially Volskaya being brought out as well. Looking at Gibralfi's team sheet, their favorite assault map is actually Anubis. So neither of what I just said. We'll see if that's what they want to play. 
we will have to see. I believe it is going to be Western Washington, no matter what, that will be starting on the defense. Yes. Uh, not really surprising. I tend to see that uh, teams want to start on the defense. It allows you to, if you were able to hold it, it says, okay, here's your win condition, what you need to do. So, But yeah, we are still uh, awaiting the map selection. Then both teams to be prepared to enter a do or die map for Gibraltar. Yeah, and Gibraltar going into this uh, match as the higher seed, uh, four and two overall record compared to Western Washington's three and three. Uh, losing to a lower seeded team like this will be would be, I think, uh, I don't want to say booming to their playoff chances because, like I said, uh, advanced is a much smaller overall division than uh, intermediate. And so I think most teams, if not all teams that uh, are playing, are going to at least make it to the playoffs. But losing so losing to a team like that is going to take the wind out of your sails uh, going into the playoffs. And like we mentioned at the beginning, that momentum going in uh, could be huge. Be and it looks like, yeah, Gibraltar is going to pick Anubis. Their uh, favorite map. <laughs> their favorite. In fact, their favorite assault map. Um but I'm very interested because this does open up Western Washington to play a bunch of really weird things, um, which and they've gotten um, they've gotten value with it over the course of the series. Yeah, as we are going to get underway Ready for battle. as the defense looks like they want to run a Ryan Arissa. Uh, with the McCray Hanzo, interesting composition, support line, kind of what you expect for a brawl. That back Lucio, but uh, interesting tank line. Yeah, I imagine with the Arisa, they're probably going to want to stay sort of at the mid range. Um, the Lucio is confusing me a little bit because everything else about this comp tells me we want to stay in one place and and just spam. But then you have the Lucio there. Uh, which I guess will help them reposition if Watchpoint Gibraltar managed to uh, get some, managed to uh, force them out of their positions. As Watchpoint Gibraltar is going to come out on a dive comp, so that'll be very interesting to watch. We'll see if Mercy's Rocket will be able to jump into this uh, composition of uh, Western Washington and come out alive. Yeah, they look like they want to jump around the side here. As Garrett's managed to get into the back line, dive comes through, and then the kills. Well, they're uh, not so lucky, as it's going to be Western Washington with a very nice opening hold. As uh, we have a sub as well, uh, Pet's going to be coming in for Gibraltar. Yeah, Pet has come in. She is listed as the Zenyatta player uh, for Gibraltar, but it is actually going to be Ana that she's going to be playing coming out. And, well, to be fair, He's doing a pretty good job so far, despite uh, dying early in that fight, already almost up to the nano boost. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, and Sarah just, is, just can't play the game, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dig. it's gonna delay this push by another 10 or so seconds. Yeah. He is rejoined now. Okay, yeah. Uh, oh, he uh, able to make an attempt to dive back in, just poking on through as they are here set up the dive and it's going to come uh, through. It's a decent anti -nate. hits both tanks and they're going to fall very low. Can they finish them off? There goes one, second one. It's going to get healed back up, however, Stuka Meister manages to stay alive, but side through is not so lucky as this is looking good for uh, Westport Gibraltar to manage to capture up our first point. Yeah, as soon as they just get rid of this Lucio, that, that is. And yeah, uh, I think Gibraltar did a very good job there. Very nicely coordinated dive coming out from the Tracer, the Monkey, the uh, Diva. A very good job. And I think there is definitely a snowball potential here. Watch when Gibraltar is going to be going into this fight uh, with four ultimates coming online within the next couple of seconds here. Uh, they will have the duplicate, they'll have the pulse bomb, they will have the rally as well as the bomb, as a diva bomb. And Western Washington made a couple of swaps, so they will not have as many ultimates. 
Yeah, they're gonna try to come around. Pokemon very good. Take that snatch through. Some barriers there get put it out from Dan. The works to Reinhardt, but two kills have come through. Shatter is good and it results in the deep bomb kill of one, but the support line is quite lacking as they only have that uh, on it. Now they have nobody for heal, so this will be uh this will be Great call there from Western Washington. They saw the ultimate starting to come out from uh, Gibralfi. They, uh, Dan went down, sorry, uh, Satch Fruit went down early to a pull spawn from Haskell. And they said, okay, we're gonna use Beat now and go super aggressive before they can get anything else done. And that's what they did. Uh, West, uh, Washington Gibralfi was not ready for it. Uh, and they were able to get several picks off of that aggressive beat before, uh, Gibralfi could get anything else done, and now Gibralfi making tons of swaps to be a much more traditional brawl bomb. And, uh... Yeah, that means they are gonna have to take a fire two to try and be a little more up to, uh, up to speed. Interestingly, Arietta's gonna stick on the Brigitte, has the rally, but... No speed boost in this situation really hurts. The mail is actually really good there. It took a while for it to get broken down. Shatter doesn't quite find what it needs. There is a tick gain. On the side, there are some trades coming through all off the back of one player and damn, but just not able to make anything happen. As it's going to be a reset force. Yeah, but a nice tick gotten by, I think it was just Diggory who just kind of flew onto the point and was just like, I wonder how long I can just stand here before someone forces me off. And the answer is 40.8%. Uh, so, uh, Western Washington. Uh, needed to be a little bit quicker there to not give up a tick, but to be fair, uh, did a very good job pushing in on the still Lucio with uh, Gibralfi. And uh, they're having a very good time just aggressing on this team without any speed boost. Yes, they're <laughs> trying to wreck on the side, but such an early pick once again. Haskell picking down and the takes down the May, and now there's gonna be a rally forced out because, I mean, at this point, you're holding out for so long, just commit it, drop up to Lucia. Two minutes left. Yeah, over half of the time bank has been drained for Gibralfi. Ariadna's better swap onto the Lucio, and they do. So, good on that. Uh, however, um, now it gets scary, because Western Washington are going to have five ultimates, everything but the Ant Matrix, up for this next fight. With two minutes left, if they're able to budget this correctly, this could last them until the end of the attack. Yeah, as there's the first ultimate, it's going to be the Blizzard High Noon as well. And it finds three. Sag Fruit decimates the opposition. He's probably not feeling very sad, but your bro, the dog in the picture, uh, Alfie may be fairly happy, but the rest of the team is probably not fairly sad. Yeah, and Key, they were able to win the fight with just those two ultimates, which means they'll still have the Shatter, the Grab, and the Beat, all very impactful ultimates going into what is likely going to be the last fight here. Ooh, ooh, ooh Dookie, Mice, Dookie Master is going to take a lot of damage, but very, but just barely not going to go down. This is Washington Gibraltar's best chance. They have everything but the beat online. Yes, there's going to be uh, a lot of ultimate tech stage for both sides, but then kill. Going to be a couple of those old shatter with the counter. It's fighting three kills, and the offense is finally cracked open this point. They're going to move on through as there is gonna be a desperate attempt to contest here and they're not gonna be able to do it it's gonna be yep. uh watch bunch of brophy capping importantly with still time on the clock well i mean five mem four members of watch point Gibralfi, sorry uh the shadow was held on to a little longer but four members of watch point Gibralfi used their ultimates all at the same time and that is very difficult to deal with if you're Western Washington, to be fair. A very valiant effort coming out from Drew on a very high charge Zarya. If he was able to get a pick or two before he went out, maybe there's a chance there. But yeah, uh, when you just need that one decisive fight, sometimes you just need everyone on your team to press Q. And that is how you win the game of Overwatch. <laughs> Ready for battle. As now we move on to Gibralfi's defense. 
Interestingly, they are currently still showing this sort of divey comp, which I don't know if I recommend for Anubis defense. I feel like they're going to have trouble staying alive against Western Washington, which are showing uh, more of a brawl. Yeah, as I, the, yeah, the defense is running a very interesting <clears throat> composition there. Um, with um with this kind of like dive ish comp uh, with the widow on dan as well is like you said it's just gonna be a brawl no nade though it's gonna be the console once again you're putting a lot of trust in the dan here i think the hope is that while the tanks and the sombra push push into the push into their team and distract them that will open up sight lines for dan to get value um but it's still going to be very tough because this Brawl comp of a serious dive on with Gibraltar wants to jump onto something and dive them. But that's super difficult to go super aggressive like that on Anubis first, where there's very limited space for a dive comp to work with. Yeah, they're gonna try to play this high ground. DMAC onto Dickery's a good start. Nice boost to force them off. Dookie Meister is in a. Uh... Pretty dubious top, but he's actually able to stay alive and they find many a kill, find three out of four, and that's a very fast capture of uh, first point. Yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't get how that comp wins that fight. Uh, Gibraltar is going to, Gibraltar is going to swap back over to a traditional brawl comp, which makes a lot more sense. I, yeah, I just, when they weren't able to get any picks onto Gibraltar, onto Western Washington as they pushed in, I just felt like the fight was already over. It was so, it would be so difficult for anyone to get value. Oh. But, nice headshot there from the right click of Sergeant Jared. It's going to uh, put a stop to the snowball. Yeah, it's a very nice start there to get down. Uh, so first you're to Haskell, but he's able to stay alive for now. Nice trade there into Mercy's raw hit. They're just losing too many players to make this worthwhile as Dan just picks up two. Yeah, Gibraltar knows that as long as they can trade, they're able to win because of the superior spawn advantage, and that's exactly what they do. Go super aggressive. It staggers. A couple of them also fall, but they know that their uh, fallen members will be back before Western Washington's are. So, they're okay with making those trades. Yeah, more than okay with that. They're uh, gonna try to engage back into this, because the grab is fairly good, but it's gonna be Dookie Meister, who is the opening pick. That's looking good for the defense, and a fight that the ultimate advantage at first was in favor of the attack. Yeah, you can't lose your Reinhardt so early if you're Western Washington. Dookie Meister just caught out and taken down uh, as uh, the rest of uh, Western Washington were trying to take down Mercy's Rocket, who got nanoed in a grab and was hard pocketed, so there was just not much that could be done. Um, so now Western Washington doing a pretty smart rotation here. We'll see how Gibraltar will react. Gibraltar reacts. Yeah, I knew. Comes out, takes down Dookie Meister. Once again, such a great opening. Losing the Reinhardt early is uh, quite a bad circumstance. Dan has just been dominating this map over three. Picks up another three k. Yeah, Dan absolutely coming alive right now in this map. In a key moment, by the way, his team needs him. If Watch One Gibralfi can manage to, once again, a stagger is coming through, but I think you're okay with that. Actually, uh, the immortality field used early there from uh, from Arietta, so maybe uh, Western Washington taking note of that. But uh, if they manage to hold on to this for three minutes, uh, they will force a map five. Yeah, Shatter! Oh, once again, Dookie Meister's down! I mean, how many times has he just died before there's really been a full engagement? But the Graviton Surge with the Dragon Strike combo is good enough to find a trio of kills. There's a trade there onto Haskell, so they only have four players currently fighting on the point. There are some staggers uh, that have a 
possibility of making something happen. Yeah, but we need to see a pick or two coming out of Giralfi as for this to happen. And right now, the picks are all blue. Okay, there's one. Diggory gets a hook and a kill on the margin two. and gets a second. So now there's a chance here. But we need to keep seeing Zagreus stand with a headshot. The picks are coming through for Gibraltar, but is it too little too late? I'm not sure. Right now it's the McCree and the Lucio. The ball rejoins the fight for Gibraltar. 89.4% on the point. The uh, Wrecking Ball is forced to leave. And now here come the picks. 99.9% for Western Washington. And I don't think it's going to be enough. The picks are coming through for Gibraltar. And they've been forced off. But they fight through their horse McCree. And... Like you said, 99.9%. They get them up for just a hair of a second. They could make this happen. The reference search through there's a main wall to block off the sidelines, however. The kills could still come the way of either side. They just need to make sure to stay on point. What would your broke do? Hit comes through. Timing is off. Mine third on. Respawn here starting to come back to them once again for the defense. As they just the post bomb has been thrown out. Does take that one. Kills there from Spruce. Onto Drew. Stop barrier now. They find another one at 99.9%. They are finally forced right? away. And so they're not going to be able to do it. That is insane from Watchpoint Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Sorry. Uh, an incredible stagger job from them. Keeping the fight alive. Just getting just enough picks to keep this going. And Western Washington, they really wanted to get it across the line. Not only did they use every ultimate at their disposal, except for Majin's uh, Beat, who uh, I guess he got that near the end. They also made a lot of swaps. Watch when Gibraltar is looking healthy as far as the ultimate economy goes. Blizzard thrown in. Nothing really here to counter it. Besides that sound barrier. But it will not matter. Everybody's folly. Just watch for Gibraltar. Are looking incredible. Uh, oh, move my this on to goodness. a map five. Yeah, now Watchman Gibraltar is pushing up to try and make sure no one on the side of Western Washington can touch. So the uh, soldier is going to try and push through to no avail, and that is going to do it. We're going to a map five. What a stagger play from Watchpoint Gibraltar to keep their match points alive. Yeah, 99.9%. That's 99.9. crazy. Just able to pull it off there. As this will be map number five here. We're going to be moving on to, once again, going to be a control map. So, see what they're uh, able to do. Yeah, uh, I believe I believe it's still loser picks, so this would be Western Washington getting the pick here. And looking at their map pool, their favorite uh, control map is Busan, which would uh, benefit them and their ability to play uh, some Farah comps, some, uh, some Farah comps, some Sniper comps. Uh, we'll see if that's what they go with but it really could be anything. What I do know is that this game has been back and forth all over the place, and you are not going to want to miss the conclusion. Welcome back, everybody, to Get Good North America Season 7 Advanced. I am Joe Razor, joined here by the wonderful Dividing, and we are getting ready to see the conclusion of this banger of a series. Uh, map 5 in between Western Washington Vikings and Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yeah, and this match, if you are just joining us, has been an absolute barn burner. So much fun to watch. I'll be watching this one back for sure. So back and forth, both teams trading haymakers. And it is all going to come to a head on Busan. As mentioned, this was Western Washington's pick. This happens to be their favorite uh, control map in Overwatch. 
Uh, I think it plays to their sort of scrappy, aggressive play style very well. Yeah, I yeah, Busan is a map that uh, it, it allows for a lot of individual skill to shine, and so I am uh, excited to see what they opt to go with uh, or compositions because it's a map uh, similar to Lishan where you have three points with kind of varied compositions. Um, so excited to see what each team wants to pull out here. Yeah, absolutely. As we prepare to go into this final map, as a reminder, these are two teams looking to break out of the sort of middle of the pack when it comes to get good uh, advanced division. Uh, both these teams sitting around the middle. Western Washington, I believe, is at three and three. Watchpoint Gibraltar at four and two. Uh, need to get themselves that key win and a... Uh, and momentum going into Sunday's games and next week's playoffs. Yeah, uh, just trying to build up some of this momentum, try to get a bit of a higher seed as well. Um, so it's just see what they're able to do as we are starting out. Yep, we're going to be starting out here on... <clears throat> I'm not as good at the Busan submaps. I think this Hold is on. called like Sanctuary, hey, yeah, maybe. Um, Whoa. but as we see, both teams coming out with their initial comps. Of course, swaps can be made in the next twenty seconds with no issues. But we already see a bit this of one a clash is of styles. Yes, got it right. Hey, uh, good we job. Are able you get a gold star. A, I like gold stars. <laughs> uh, matches my rank. Uh, <laughs> we get we get to see. <laughs> Uh, Western Washington coming out with more of a brawly tank setup, but Washington Gibraltar is going to go more of a dive. Yeah, so uh, varying compositions here. Let's see what they want to go with. As they're. Uh, uh, see how they have to play this? As that's just a super early kill there. I mean, the Tracer and the Winston just blown up immediately. Very well done. That's going to be a very quick Arista and Port Captain. Yeah, some over aggression coming out from Mercy's Rocket and um, and Sir King Jared and got immediately punished by Western Washington. I mean, imagine on the Lucio winning that, uh, winning, uh, getting the pick onto the Tracer is super impressive and it's going to cause swaps as Gibraltar is going to play Western Washington's game. Yeah, they're gonna we're gonna see uh, nearly a mirror. Only difference is gonna be that off tank. Oh, actually, DPS is different, so a uh, slightly different composition for both sides. Right, try to push in a mortality field removed immediately. Posthumus is gonna fall. There is a trade there. Watch to the Reinhardt. Uh, so it's a two for one in favor of uh, in favor of West. Uh, in favor of what? But the world, excuse me. As they're gonna try to try to put some aggression on Western Washington, but. It's going to result in Doofy Meister's death. It gets Doofy on. And now they're forced to try to pull back to the point and try to stabilize with whatever players they still have left. And I don't know what much they are going to be able to do. Yeah, the Ant Matrix now coming out, oh. but here comes Haskell on that Tracer. Gets the Pulse Bomb kill and two more after that. That plus Drew's uh, grab was enough for Western Washington to re-stabilize. Oh boy, uh, so now 60% and counting for Western Washington. A watch the white Gibraltar will have the will have the ults they need and Dan popping off the support line's gone. Yeah, really nice start there. Um as there is a a kill to come through as well. So they are just going to be able to push on through, capitalize on these early eliminations to flip the point over. I don't know if Western Washington's support line was getting over aggressive, but either way, Dan just absolutely popping off on that McCree, taking out both supports. No healing for uh, Western Washington means that fight is as good as over, and they didn't have to use any ultimate to do it either. Yeah, Shatter comes through. Ooh, very nice counter Shatter. That sound barrier is going to come through. As uh, this is going to be two limbs very early on due to this McCree. But that's going to be uh, Watchpoint Gibraltar. 
Even though the point was uh, flipped over for a second, they are going to regain control. They will be able to regain control again, but key, uh, Western Washington did take it back and managed to bring it up to 99%, which means it is going to be one fight that uh, Western Washington needs in order to take this first round of Busan and... It's, they're looking kind of scary right now with the grab coming up from Drew and also both BPS ultimates. There's definitely opportunity here for picks to come through, for fight wins to happen. And there we go, Satrud opens it up. Yeah, really nice start there. As the are two trades that come through due to the other team's high dude, you get that Diva buff. So really nicely done. The left foot surge is online for Drew is cool as well, but I don't think they're going to... Uh, I don't know if they're gonna want to commit it here, as they do get a D-Mac off, and there's the ground on search. His three players, but as soon as but the tank like drops immediately. It's just such an unfortunate timing. Hesitated a bit on the trigger, and it may have cost them their one fight territory now. Yeah, uh, a bit of a you know I can sit, sit here in hindsight and say that was a bad play, uh, but Drew saw the lineup onto the tank and supports of uh, Watchman Gibralfi and he went for it, so I can't blame him for it. Uh, but unfortunately, you really want that grab back going into this last fight, especially now that the ult economy has swung in favor of Gibralfi. They will have. Pretty much everything except for the Diva Bomb coming online here. Shatter gets dropped, doesn't really find anything. <laughs> They're gonna try to poke around there. Hynek's gonna come out! Shatter as well! It fights two! And the rest of the team is there to clean up! It's such a quick fight in the team wipe, and that's gonna be the first point of Sanctuary going the way of Western Washington. Wow, blink and you miss it, man. Sag Fruit got around somewhere. I'm not sure how, what position he was in to just pick off two. We saw, um, we we saw the main tank of Watch One Gibraltar Mercy's rocket just swinging away without a care in the world, and all of a sudden, two of his teammates were dead, and the the beat came in, and oh boy, that. Is really unfortunate considering how strong Watchpoint Gibraltar was looking going into that fight. Now we move on to downtown, which means we get the opportunity to see some uh, interesting looking comps. Dan is going to be on the Widowmaker to start off here, unless there's a last second swap. Uh, Western Washington, meanwhile, is going to go even more brawly, uh, swapping out for a Reaper. Yeah, see what they're gonna be managed to do here as they're interesting angle from Dan kind of fairly susceptible as he gets picked Ooh. off Ooh, very crispy headshot from that group and the rest of the team is starting to collapse on so there's a trade there a set free just caught out but it's not gonna matter as this is look actually there are a couple of kills but I don't think it should really create too much of a difficulty unless there is a complete like 180 in this fight but it's not looking like it. yeah they just got to get rid of these last couple stragglers there are picks coming through but yeah uh mercy's rocket's gonna jump away the uh, point has been lost it is time to regroup for Gibraltar. and this is tough now that western washington has the point they are such a tanky brawly comp that is so good at taking a point on the map and just keeping it uh now that Western Washington has control of the point, it's going to be so difficult for Gibraltar to dislodge them. Yeah, it can be quite challenging. We're going to wait for the uh, engagement to come back through. We're just going to stick around here on this point. As it looks like Wiki wants to go for an aggressive shatter. He's going to hit three players there. Facing a lot of pressure. There. And they're going to get the kills they need. There's a trade. Point is actually capped in the back by Gibraltar. But it will be Western Washington win. Gibraltar are playing super, super slowly right now, which I'm not sure if I like, especially when you can sort of feel the seconds ticking away like sand in an hourglass for this team. One, uh, one uh, lost round away from taking an L on the overall series. 
Uh, you can't really be afforded to be taking your time, and Mercy's rocket's gonna go aggressive with the nano, but oh man, this is so not good. But Dan gets around in the back. Yeah, he does vanish to find two. Make that a four K. Dan eating Western Washington alive. <laughs> And that's gonna be them uh, bandaging to flip it over. Yeah, 67% on the board. Though I will say that quick little uh, flip coming out from Watchpoint to Brawlfi is actually massive because without it, they would have been in last point territory. Here comes Jared on a bit of a flank, but looks like Western Washington is moving a little too fast. Ooh, Diva Buff Fikes too. That's really nice there for Diggory. But the. Uh... Counter ultimates available for Western Washington are good enough. All right, I'll hold on to this point. And now this is one fight territory here. Yeah. At this point, this is one fight territory or two very rushed fights. I would say you want to go with one fight here. Watch when your brawl fee are not looking good, though. They will only have the rally and maybe the high noon coming into this next fight. Western Washington has both the portals and the shatter. Oh, what but Dan popping off when his team needs him most. Yeah, he takes one down early. The high noon picks up another one. Sound barrier has been committed from Western Washington, but it will not matter because Dan has found three. Comes up big. Give him the 4K once again. My goodness, the McCree of Watchpoint, Gibralfi, absolutely willing his team to keep their match hopes alive by another fight, another moment, another percent. Mercy's Rocket needs to back away because the, the focus fire of the Reaper is so good. But now, both support of them that's available for Gibralfi, there's a chance here. Yeah, and Matrix turned down, Shatter's good! But the pulse bomb gets thrown in, and the Snow Machine should do the Mice Gears ends up going down. Watch Point of Brophy don't want to give this up. One fight left to decide if we will go to Mecha Base or if Western Washington will take the series. Both teams not looking too great on ult going into this fight. I got my eyes on Dan right now. Currently, the hot hand on the side of Watchpoint Gibralfi needs to keep this up for at least one more fight. He has a High Noon available, but Haskell on the other side will have the Death Blossom. High Noon now comes out. Doesn't get anything. Does for Sunday yeah, right. Mortality kill fairly early on. The, the counter new! Does Vinch catch out Jared at the back, and Haskell comes through with the kill on the damn DPS line has been removed. And this is looking disastrous for, West, for Watchpoint Gibralfi. And this is looking like, and it will be, Western Washington take what was a banger of a series in five maps, and they can, and they must be so elated right now with that performance and with that victory. Oh, absolute hype! Uh, these collegiate teams—they are passionate, and they are, and they absolutely know how to have a good time after a victory. Western Washington after an incredible game from both sides. I do feel like I have to point that out. Both teams showing some incredible grit in this long but uh, long but uh, barn burner of a series. Both teams going back and forth consistently. Uh, in the end, it is Western Washington who come up clutch when they need it most on their map pick of Busan. Uh, but man, what a match that was. Yeah, what a series. Uh, from, uh, I mean, there's just so much crazy momentum swinging, some insane individual plays, a lot of nice set plays there from both sides. Really was a uh, great game of Overwatch all around, and uh, big congratulations to Western Washington for making it happen. Yeah, absolutely, but that is going to do it for us here at Get Good North America. Uh, Beautiful, beautiful game. We just watched two very great games. Uh, Joe Razor, do you have any uh, last thoughts before I sign us off here? Um, and make sure to follow me and Dividing on the Twitter. You can see our Twitter handles below. Yeah, we point at the same time. Crazy. <laughs> very good, um, nice and coordinated. <laughs> make sure to follow uh, Elo Hill uh, on Twitch as well. Uh, join the Discord. I'm sure there's some 
Nightbot command uh, to make that happen. But uh, yeah, so uh, make make sure to do all that fancy stuff. And uh, but yeah, that uh should be it for us. Yeah, that is going to do it for us here at Get Good North America Season Seven. I've been dividing your color caster for this evening. My play-by-play -play has been Joe Razor. Uh, our producer has been Cynthia, and our observer is DeLuca. Thank you to everyone for watching, uh, and from all of us, uh, uh, both in front and behind the screen, uh, have a great rest of your night.